Hello everybody, it's Old Bear from the Old Bear's Damn Bigfoot, and last night, KG heard a loud howl, and last night, it, well, it didn't really bother him, but it affected him to the point where he's, uh, was a little on edge. And this morning about 3.30, I come outside of my home. My truck's parked right over there. And if you see the light, there's my neighbor's house up there. And uh, right to the left of the main light that you see up there, I turned and looked up that way and... Well, it looks like the Alpha decided to make an appearance, and it walked straight up towards where the light was at, and it grunted at me when it was standing up there where I could see just its head and shoulders above my home, and then it disappeared up behind my house to the right side of that light. So... Well, we have uh, had a few more things going on, and uh, right now it's super quiet. As you can hear, the only thing you can hear is KG's footsteps. Like the wind ain't even blowing. So, just wanted to update y'all. Give you a little short video. I mean, as you can see, when there's no light on, and there's Cecil barking. Uh, but it's pretty dark. We're going to check. Uh, KG says he's going to wake up here a little later and look for footprints and see if he can find where he walked up through. As long as he stays outside the yard, he probably came up over that way where uh, Barb said her. Was it your son? He used to go down mm -hmm. and sit? Mm hmm And the deer would come up? Where all them cross logs are down in there. Yeah. He might have come up. He'd probably come right up to there. Yeah, he don't usually come in the yard. Just that female that's infatuated with KG. Well, and my shine right there. Was right to my shine right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could be a possum or coon stuck up in a tree. It wasn't a big. It wasn't one of them big coons. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you a short update and let you know that things are still happening. Yes, they are. That scream uh, in Utah, I've heard them way up. Mm -hmm. and, you know, above me, two or three thousand feet further up. Mm -hmm. And the sound doesn't carry. I mean, this one screamed last night from up here, and it was loud. I mean, I've never heard one sound off so close, where it just the sound just came at me like that. And it was, uh, it was loud. And uh, I went back in and told Ralph, and he said he's just letting the other know, the other ones know that he's coming. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah, the old man showed up. So. <laughs> That's probably why you won't find any footprints of that female here tonight. Because last night was a pretty quiet night. Yeah, it was. It's a little chillier this morning. Which might get the deer up and moving. And they may have been. That's the reason that they were out. Uh, he was out. Uh, doing some hunting on his own. Well, this sure has got a beam on it, doesn't it? Yep. It's a good light. All right, guys. That's it for tonight. Take care. We'll talk to you later. Y'all stay blessed now.